everyone, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I'm starting way too many vlogs in this position. This morning I'm up and I'm heading off to London again, it's the start of the week. Today I'm heading off to London with MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to their Carnaby Street store and I'm just going to be meeting the PR team and just having chats with them and then we're going to be making our own palette and there's going to be an illustrator to draw us and I think there's only red hair girls going so it's going to be really really fun. I know Roxy's going and I know Soph Does Nails is going so I'm really excited to see those two girls and then yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing today and then I'm going to go out for a lunch slash meeting with my manager so that's going to be really nice and then I'm just going to head home because I am currently absolutely hooked on survival of the fittest. I discovered it yesterday because I've obviously seen like loads of people talk about it and stuff and I was like oh like should I watch it should I not and then I was like okay I'm just going to watch one episode and I'm hooked so I'm on like episode four but I need to catch up so I'm going to come home and watch that because I'm loving it but right now I'm watching Ibiza Weekender basically I haven't had time to watch like reality TV in a while and I finally got like a few spare hours slash days where I can watch it so I'm just catching up and obviously Survival of the Fittest is on every single night so I need to get caught up so I can just watch it when it's live on TV but I'm really excited for today I've got a really good week up ahead I'm also going on an exciting trip with Benefit on Thursday and then I'm just going to be like doing some exciting stuff on Tuesday and Wednesday as well so basically it's going to be a really good day so that's very exciting that is the plan I hope you guys enjoy and right now I'm going to do my makeup. I think I'm going to do quite a nude look but I am going to use some of MAC's makeup because obviously I'm working with them today so I thought it would be nice to use some of their makeup. And also mind how rough I look. I literally just got out of the bath so my hair's a bit wet and I look very rough so let's just let's just ignore that. I am now already, I've done my makeup. I've gone for my usual like everyday nude type of makeup today with the Too Faced Melted Child Star on my lips and then I've just straightened my hair. I've got my jumper on which was in my haul for my main channel video which went up on a Sunday day and then it's from ASOS got my necklace on got some jeans on I don't know what coat I'm gonna wear yet but I'll show you like a full outfit of the day when I decide but I've actually got an hour till I need to leave I got up and got ready like way too early and my mum is currently out she has like dropped my little brother off at school and she's got like an eye test and some stuff to do so I'm actually home alone so I think I'm just gonna go downstairs and get some food because I don't think me and Rebecca will be eating till probably about half past two so I'm gonna go get some food let me show you what I get also I forgot to show you guys we have done the bathroom up a little bit so as you can see the walls are now like a grey colour I can't really show you that well because of the light oh there you go you can see a bit better now and we've got some plants we've got like a hanging plant up there some plants here we've got like a new bath mat and stuff and then we've got this little thing here and then basically mum is changing the shower curtain to a white and copper one it's like white with copper hexagons and we've got like pastel pink towels to go in there but they're just currently like drying oh mind that but it looks really nice and then it just looks a lot tidier really like like, I don't know, so basically we're just doing one room at a time, but yeah, it looks so much tidier. Please excuse that, because I have had a bath this morning, so I've got to tidy all of that up, and then obviously we've got to fix the shower head, because it fell off and we had to tape it. And obviously I've showed you guys the living room already, I think, but yeah, this is looking super, super nice as well. Mum's got her flowers that I got her for Valentine's Day in there, which are lasting well, but yeah, the living room looks really nice. Obviously, because Esficus has got quite a lot of toys, that takes up a lot of space, and he likes to leave his toys down there until he comes back home from nursery, but but yeah, it looks really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna try one of these. These are the new Miller Corner Muesli Chocolate and Banana Pot. So I don't really know what's, oh. Oh my God, they're like brown, that's so cool. Oh my God, okay, so it says Greek style yogurt with oats and cereals, milk chocolate and banana. So let's give this a go. It's literally just the yogurt with those little things inside, but I actually think this is gonna be quite nice. So I think I'm just gonna bend this over and pour the lot in. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Can I do it one-handed? Yes. I'm now about to get ready to leave. I'm just going to choose my jacket and put some shoes on and then I am going to have to walk up to the train station because mum is still out and I don't know, but is it, is it raining? I don't think it's raining. Oh, if it is, I'm going to have to take a jacket with a hood. That's annoying. Okay, I don't know what jacket I'm going to take now because I think it's raining, which means it's probably going to rain in London because I live pretty close to London. <laughs> I've made it up to Carnaby Street. It's such a horrible day today. It's rainy, but I'm gonna go meet Roxy. There's the sign. And here we go. I love the streets of London. They're so pretty. And all the skinny dip store. So we're now at the Mac store and they have come out with these brand new dazzle shadows. Look how amazing this is. When I get home, I'll swatch it for you guys, but so, so beautiful. These are all the different shades. I don't know if they're like, they're not even like picking up on camera because they're like, yeah, that. Do you want me to swatch them? Oh, go for it. Roxy's gonna 
I know. And then it starts raining. I mean, that's insane. Like, as well, just because it was raining. I Look was, like, at that. So miserable. I don't think I've ever seen like a glitter that no, pigmented before. These are Max New lip glosses as well. They are the dazzle glass ones. And how insane is this colour? Like, can you see the sparkle of that? I'm obsessed. Perfect for going out as well. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the show. Go for it. We went. Well, Anna's getting another one, but I think we can get three. Oh. What did you get? Oh, from there. Is that how you say it? Yeah. <laughs> we are now making our own palettes and we've got to choose eyeshadow blushes and cream colour bases, I think they're called. So I've got all of these different colours here, which I'll pop in and then I'll show you which ones I chose. Here is the completed palette which I chose. As you can see, it's very much the colours that I usually go for. But how gorgeous is that matte burgundy and the orange? I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. If you guys haven't tried these, you also need to try these. These are some of my favourite things ever. I have the shade Burnt Spice, whichever one that is out of these, but I wear it a lot. I think it might be that one. It's so pretty. I'm currently getting my face drawn on my palette and it looks so cool. Such a cool way to personalise them as well. I am back in my favourite shop. I'm back in Urban and I'm just trying on this Tommy Hilfiger top. I think this is really, really nice. I don't normally go for short sleeve tops, but I know that I need to, so I really like this. I'm going to get this. And then I've got these trousers on, but they're way too big for me, which is so sad because I've seen them on Instagram and I really really wanted them but they don't have my size so I'm just gonna get the top I think but I do have this jacket it's another jacket but let me try it on and then I'll show you guys it's another IX fans one but now I've got it on definitely no obviously ignore the trousers but I don't know I really like my other one but I feel like this one's I think it's the blue that I'm not liking I thought this is gonna get a no but the t-shirt's definitely gonna be a yes Yay, I am now home and I'm going to give you guys a little haul of the things that I bought today. But like the light is going to be really bad so I'm just going to lay back. I just got back from London probably about an hour ago. Me and Lucy were just on FaceTime having a catch up and now I've just come off because I'm going to finish like showing you guys what I got today and then I'm going to watch Survival of the Fittest because I'm obsessed with it. Like obsessed, it's such a good show. So let me show you what I got. I got some stuff from MAC which obviously they gifted to me so thank you so much for that. I went to Forever 21 and I went to Urban Outfitters. First thing I got from Urban is this new phone case because the one my mum got me for Christmas was so so pretty but I actually dropped my phone and the case like slips off as soon as I drop it and I don't know how well like oh let me just I just screenshot that by accident I don't know how well you guys can see but there's actually like a crack here and if I drop it again then it will completely crack so that's my new phone case and then where have I put all my clothes? Oh, I put them all in this Urban Outfitters bag. No, Forever 21 bag. Okay, so the first thing I got is from Forever 21 and it is this like mustard top. It's got short sleeves, which is like really different for me. Normally, I just prefer to wear long sleeve things because I feel more comfortable in it. There's like different reasons why, but I just feel more comfortable in it. So this just says, let the good times roll. And I always get this in like two sizes up because I like my t-shirts to be really, really baggy on me. So I got that and this was, I think it was £12. Yeah, £12. And then I got, I got this grey t-shirt here, which was, oh, it's not plain grey. Let me turn it round. And and this was from Tommy Hilfiger but it's from Urban Outfitters and it was £25 and it's just a grey short sleeve top that says Tommy. I think I showed you this in the changing rooms. I really really liked it again thought it would be nice to tuck into some of like my trousers and stuff because I've got loads of like new trousers recently. And then as you guys know I'm really getting into my jewellery and Forever 21 has some really really pretty necklaces so somehow me being absolutely amazing i've already got them tangled how have i done this i first of all got this tiny dainty little pineapple on this really thin gold chain and this one was only two pounds and then i got this one which is on like a quite a bit of a longer chain and it's got like a gorgeous like rose quartz crystal and I thought this was so so pretty it's like plastic it's not real but I really liked it and I thought that these two would look really cute together because of the way that they hang and the big one was three pounds so that was my little shopping trip for today I think it was a very successful and I'm very happy with what I got and then this is the bag that Mac gave me it just says Mac autumn winter 2018 and basically it's so cool I didn't show you guys earlier but let me delve into the bag I made my own palette and they actually 
really like illustrated me on it so this was like me and she said that because I apparently have quite big eyes and lips she just wanted to draw that she didn't want to like outline my face or anything and then she just wrote my name on it which is so so cool and I love that it's so like personal to me so I'm so so grateful to have this can't get it open though and then in the palette I've got six different eyeshadow colors I've got like a burgundy and orange a brown and then like three different nudie shades I've got two cream color bases and then two blushes so thank you so much Mac for this I'm so happy with it and then if I just pour out the rest of the goodies that they gave me I think that's all of them yes yeah. so they had the vending machine which you guys saw and out that I got a mini lipstick in the shade twig and then we've got the brand new highlighter palettes which I also showed you earlier and they are called hyper real glow I will swatch them they are amazing then I got two of the new lip glosses they let us have like some of the new stuff so we could show you guys and experiment with it before it comes out it does come out very very soon though and the glosses are so beautiful I did show you guys earlier sorry it's not focusing but super pretty and then I got two of their like flat pigments and these are like dazzle shadows and again they're absolutely incredible so mac have like completely stepped up their game with this let me just open this so i can show you it here is the palette i've got the lighter palette because obviously my skin is very fair so the i was gonna say the flavors no the uh names of them are called flash and or rosy glow and light of the party and then the packaging is super super nice like this is my favorite mac packaging ever i think along with this palette and then if i just lift this up i'm gonna swatch like one of the highlighters for you guys that is just absolutely gorgeous and if it was under a studio light you guys would be able to tell how amazing it is but oh my gosh i am obsessed with this so thank you so much mac for being oh i just nearly broke it i think so generous with us today i loved hearing about your new launches and it was such a fun day i'm trying to be very careful with this so thank you so much i'm so excited to use all of that and now I'm going to sit in bed and watch Survival of the Fittest. Isn't it the best feeling when you know you can take your lashes off? And these GWA lashes come off my eyes so easy. I love them. And I reuse them so many times as well. So shout out to GWA. I love your eyelashes. So now I'm just going to wipe my makeup off using my T-Zone face wipes which I spoke about in my skincare routine. And I'm watching Survival of the Fittest. It's Lottie and Georgia are about to like compete in their thing to see who's going to stay in i'm really getting into it so if you guys haven't watched it you definitely should you'd need to catch up on like nine episodes but i don't know if you need to watch everyone just watch a few so you know their names and then you'd probably be okay but it's really good let me know who your favorites are in the comments if you're watching it and then i'm just going to snuggle in bed really i've got a driving lesson tomorrow and that's basically all i've got although i do need to film a main channel video but i think i'm going to do that on wednesday so i've got a pretty chill day tomorrow so i'm just going to organize my room and pack away some stuff because my room has been so messy again but i'm so excited because tomorrow in my driving lesson i'm now doing all of the driving so previously i drove home last lesson but she's been like driving me to the place where we go like driving me like home and stuff but now like i'm doing the full two hours of the driving so it'll really help me improve i'm really excited to like properly drive i think i I think it's my sixth lesson tomorrow and they're two hours each so i'm into like the 12 hour mark now but it's really really good i'm really enjoying it when i feel confident enough then i'm gonna ask if somebody can come in the back and they can film it and i'll vlog it but at the moment i need to like focus on learning and not worry about the camera but as soon as i feel confident enough then i will like show you guys good morning everybody and welcome back to part two of this vlog so i didn't actually plan on making this a two-day vlog funny story or maybe not so funny i just fell asleep i was so tired and i didn't want to like end the vlog in the morning i just thought you know what i'm going to turn this into a two-day vlog right now it is pretty early mum has just gone out and i'm just waiting for her to come back and she's going to come pick me up when mum picks me up she's going to help me take a photo which i want to post on instagram and then we're going to go pick my little brother up and then we're going to come home and at either one or half past one i can't remember what time it is i've got another driving lesson and i'm so excited because i'm going to get to drive the whole way so that's really exciting that is what i'm doing today and it's a two hour lesson so i'm gonna be driving for a solid two hours so hopefully i will be a lot better after today's lesson here is my otd i've just got some ripped black jeans from topshop i've got my new top on from forever 21 and then i've just got two necklaces on the pineapple one and then i've got a dragon one on as well i'm really liking the jewelry at the moment so getting the use out of it obviously i'm not gonna go out in this robe that would be a little bit odd so i'm just gonna get into a coat and then we're gonna leave i don't really know what else i'm gonna do today but I'm gonna vlog anyway, so yeah. I just got in the car and mum said that she trapped me to something in Primark and I have no idea what it is, so. Oh god, it's heavy. I'm so excited for you. 
Girl Boss. Oh, that's so cute. Oh yeah, I love it because I love the book Girl Boss. Oh, yeah, thank you. I am now home for my driving lesson. It was so good. I was so happy with how it went. The only thing that annoyed me was because I had loads of other things to think about, I kept stalling the car and it really annoyed me because I hadn't stalled it up until today, but today I kept like kept doing it. And that was really frustrating me, but fingers crossed I'm not going to do that again because now I've got the hang of kind of focusing on everything. Like I've fully got roundabouts now. It's just kind of crossroads that we get in the hang of. But other than the stalling, I'm actually doing pretty well. Now I'm just going to have a pretty much a really relaxed evening because I've got quite a busy few days. I need to film. It's Tanisha's birthday. I'm going away with Benefit. I need to film another video. I've got a lot of stuff to do. So this is kind of my last like chill night. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys my pamper routine and some of the new products that I'm using using and all of that good stuff. I also forgot to show you guys that mum put this up, no selfies in the bathroom and then we got a grey shower curtain so we've got the pink towels now and like obviously you can't really see it because it's really hard to capture it all on camera but there's a really good photo on my mum's Instagram but it looks so much nicer and now I'm just running my bath but basically our water is really funny and I have to run it at this speed if I want a hot bath so it takes ages, but it's gonna happen. I've actually removed all my makeup before my bath using the T-Zone face wipes because I'm really liking T-Zone at the moment. And now I'm gonna use the charcoal black peel off mask. So yesterday night I actually did this and I did it on my chin, my nose and my forehead and it was the most incredible thing I've ever used. Now, I don't know how well it's gonna work tonight just because it pulled out so much stuff from my skin yesterday that I don't know how there's gonna be any left, but my skin is quite clogged up and I do get bad pores. I'm honestly gonna buy the whole T-Zone skincare range. Like I honestly think this is the range of stuff for me that is like fully doing my skin the good it is. Obviously I uploaded my skincare video so if you guys do want to go see like a full in-depth skincare routine then go and do that but after filming that video I found that product so that's just like an additional product and obviously in all my vlogs I will be updating you guys with additional products that I think are really really good so I'm now going to hop into the bath. I don't actually think I've got any lush left which is really sad. I need to get some more lush stuff. I've actually just found a bath bomb that I didn't know that I had which I'm going to use so let's pop it in now i'm pretty sure this just turns the water like a ready color which is going to be beautiful because it will look like blood in the bath although it doesn't actually look that red oh no it's a slow fitting one i should have put it in at the beginning this is going to take ages okay i'll update you when it's a bit better it's kind of like fizzed away now and it looks so so pretty and then i've got the in-betweeners on my laptop and i'm very very excited to watch it little toilet DIY. This vlog was a little bit of a fail because the last thing you saw I was in the bath and now I'm literally so tired that I'm just ready to go to sleep. So I think I'm just gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna get an early night. It's only kind of like, I think it's like half past 10. Yeah, it's half past 10, but I'm so tired and tomorrow I don't really have that, that much to do. But I just want to like have a chill day, you know? I love you all so much. I will show you the T-Zone thing in the next vlog, I promise. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you very, very soon for a brand new vlog. Bye!